Well, it's fall. Um, I've decided not to do my not so special special because it's actually quite special. I like to put more time into it. But uh, I thought I might let you guys in on some of my more useful survival acronyms. So I'm going to do the um, SAS special, which stands for uh, Survival Acronym Special Show. Uh, so I'm going to put together a few things for you here and we'll, we'll have some fun. If you're anything like me, um, you probably find yourself stuck in trees pretty often uh, trying to get down. So I came up with J-LOB, which stands for uh, just let go of branch. And usually uh, it's a good way to get down. Uh, huh. I think we all share the same kind of deep-seated desire to um, eat Slim Jims. I know uh, when I was a kid I loved them. Back then they were only like four inches. And now they have these supersized ones, you know, which I call the SSSSJ, which is Survival Supersized Slim Jim. And I always try to take one or two of them and uh, put them in my, my cargo shorts. Basically, since Slim Jims are like gold still, I try to chop them up into little pieces and, uh, you know, ration them throughout my trip or my day or however long I'm lost. But that's one of my uh, one of my survival acronyms: CSSSSJ. Look out! It's over that way! Holy cow! One uh, survival acronym I like to use is called SODA, which I call uh, for stay on top of a hammock. Because uh, a lot of times if you don't do it right, you go, whoa, whoa. Oh. Stay on top of hammock. But sometimes. Whoa. Oh. Whoa. Oh. It's a lot more comfortable up on that side. Soda. Oh. Sometimes people get themselves into a tough situation in the wilderness or in their backyard and um, they need rescue, you know. So I've got an emergency bucket full of tools for dangerous situations, which is why I came up with this acronym. But uh, I'm not sure if this is the bucket, but I, this is one of my buckets that I have full of stuff. You know that, got a shovel, that can come in handy. Of course, uh, an axe, always need an axe in an emergency situation. Uh, got a camera to document, uh, this is actually a camera outfit, you can see it says right on it, to document um, the, the problem. Tape measure, I'm not really sure what that's for. Uh, blue rubber band, some of this stuff might not be actual rescue stuff. It's an Easter basket, uh, a lamp repair kit. I suppose you could use that as some kind of rope. Oh, there's some rope. You can use rope. There's not a lot of rope there, but uh, fire alarm that could come in handy. Big rubber hammer, uh, dental mirror. Not sure what that. Oh yeah, this, every survival kit needs one of these. This is super glue. Um, a piece of wire and a multi-tool. So maybe you know, maybe some of this stuff is not necessary, but it's a start. There's a lot of dangerous animals in the wilderness. So one acronym that I've come up with 
easy to remember because I like fried clams, so I came up with clams. And that's just calmly lift arms, make sounds. You want to intimidate, you want to appear bigger than you are. So you calmly lift your arm <coughs> and make, <coughs> make sounds that would scare off, you know, gargantuan ground squirrels or, or bear. <coughs> Anything, just ooh, ooh, ooh. make some kind of intimidating sound that uh, will distract or scare away anything. It works. Incidentally, uh, clams also works for uh, can't lift any massive stones. So if you see a massive stone you're trying to lift it, just remember you can't because it's massive. Another one is careful licking all muddy snails. I mean you really shouldn't lick snails but if that were the case you at least you could remember by saying clams. But uh, just more helpful tips. You know I get myself into a lot of situations and oftentimes I'm in pain so one of the acronyms I've come up with to try to better my life or get out of that situation is SNOT, which means, uh, stands for Seek New Occupation Tomorrow. So like when I'm laying on the ground and I've hurt myself, which I usually do, um, I just remember SNOT. And maybe there's hope for some, something better. You guys might be familiar with this one. I call it Witch. Uh, wife is trying communication. Hide. Having uh, spent a lot of my time studying wildlife on TV, uh, at one point when I had hair, I came up with this acronym. Really not a survival one, but it's a reminder. Cello. Cut hair exactly like Oprah. I mean, she had some cool hair back in the day, you know. You know, when things are getting hectic in the house and kids are making all kinds of noise and the wife is talking to you, I, I just bug out sometimes. I grab my bucket of stuff and head for the woods. Uh, come up with this acronym SPANK, which is, of course is uh, Spam Potatoes Asian Noodles Knife. And when you grab that, Pretty much all you need for the night until things calm down and go back in. Spank. Another good survival acronym. <laughs>